I'm doing fine, I'm feeling great, you're not my fan, you can't relate, straight talk going, safe, it's not safe, before you cross me, look both ways, leaving the scene, with no trace, not in my lead, you out of place, I'm not at the top, I'm out of space, you can't eat with us, we're out of place, I'm doing fine, I'm feeling great, you're not my fan, you can't relate, straight talk going, state to state. What's up guys, it's Minios here and today I am back for another five questions and today I am here with the amazing, the wonderful, the extravagant Mia Yim. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I've never been called extravagant before. I feel honored. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, have you ever dyed your hair any other color like besides blue? Yes. Uh, when I first started coloring my hair, I went for just the gross bleach blonde, um, but it wasn't really blonde, it was more orange. And then I did pink and then I did blue and then stuck with blue ever since. Well, you know, the blue looks great on you. <laughs> Thank you, it's my favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, I know you're from LA and there's like lots of things to do there. What's one of your favorite things to, like to do there? Like events, you know, anything like that? It's hard to say now because I haven't lived in LA in my adult life, but when I was younger, my favorite thing to do, we used to live in a cul-de-sac in Fontana and it was just like my next door neighbor was also a wrestling fan. And then like a couple of the other kids in the neighborhood were wrestling fans. And like, we would all get together and just, we weren't supposed to, but we would like wrestle in the front yard and then we'll get together for like street hockey and just like neighborhood kid sports stuff that we weren't supposed to be doing <laughs> that's fun did anybody get hurt while doing the wrestling oh yeah I, my bottom tooth it, you you won't be able to tell but i have a chip in it it was from taking a stone cold stunner from my next door neighbor uh um, in the front yard so yeah we got we got messed up a lot but it was it, I mean if it wasn't for that I probably wouldn't be doing this so <laughs> well, it's always good to learn from your mistakes you know exactly exactly <laughs> number three what do you and Keith do on your downtime like when you're not wrestling and everything oh man we are homebodies so we like to just order food or I'll cook and watch um, our TV show that we, our guilty pleasure is Married at First Sight. So we'll just like watch the latest episode or it, now it's um, House of the Dragon. So we just like to just chill in the living room, turn off all the lights and just watch our shows. <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> Great to just relax, you know? Oh my gosh, yeah. Just to <laughs> not worry about anything and just be able to kick our, our, our feet up and just chill with the dogs and watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, how was your experience overall at WWE? Overall, it was great. Um, I have... It, like especially NXT it was it was a great time like I got nothing bad to say about it I was you know um they gave me a lot and trusted me with a lot and it was a really good experience yeah I bet you know it's mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> the fifth and final question there are some rumors of you retiring at impact are these rumors true I did say that previously. Um, I right now there's so much life is moving at a million miles an hour. So I don't know what I want to do anymore. <laughs> like, you know, there's the possibility of kids in the future there. You know, we just bought a home and um, I love wrestling and I was told like I told myself that I was going to give myself like one more year and then I'll wrap it up like I'm getting too old for this but like impact gave me that passion again and like I want to keep going so I don't know when I'm retiring I don't know where I'm retiring but I want to wrestle for a while like I love wrestling now so <laughs> Well, it's great to, that you found your passion again, you know, at least mm -hmm. keep doing it, do what you love, you know? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications to get notified each time I post a video. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.
Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to tune in next week for another great episode on all available podcast platforms and hosted on Podbean. Also, check us out on YouTube at Straight Talk Wrestling, on Instagram at Straight Talk Wrestling, on Facebook at Straight Talk Wrestling, and on Twitter at underscore Straight Talk. And if you feel the need to buy some sweet merch, check us out on ProWrestlingTees.com. Leaving the scene with no trace. Not in my lead. You out of place. I'm not at the top. I'm out of space. Can't eat with us. We're out of place. I'm doing fine. I'm feeling great. You're not my fan. You can't relate. Straight talk going state to state.